Happy February, everyone, and welcome back to Clutch Situation. Today I have a bit of EDC everyday carry for you here on the channel. This is a product that I've been waiting to review for quite some time. And of course, this being a mechanical pencil channel, majority of the videos that I post on here are about mechanical pencils, but that does not mean that we should forget about the accessories. And a top accessory that was recommended to me by a viewer of the channel, and I dove into because I will all I'm I am always looking for interesting EDC to pair with my mechanical pencils, or in this case, should I say, carry my mechanical pencils in, and that is pen cases that work really well to help to protect your mechanical pencils. And depending upon what mechanical pencils you get, you want to consider investing in appropriate carrying cases so that you don't damage them, especially for those fixed sleeve mechanical pencils, drafting pencils, that if you were to drop them, it could bend the lead sleeve and essentially render your mechanical pencil useless unless you have the capability of replacing the lead sleeve on that pencil. And so what we have for you here is the Lee Heat Lab Tefa pen case. I purchased this one from Jet Pens for $13.50. You can also purchase them for anywhere from $8 to $11.50 USD on Amazon. And Amazon has a bit bigger of a selection than Jet Pens does. Uh, Amazon uh, has these Lee Hit Lab Tefa pen cases in black, jet black, navy blue, brown, coral, green camo, navy camo, lime green, and orange. And if you were to order from a smaller manufacturer, which I'd like you to consider seriously doing so that we can continue to support small businesses, you can get them uh, from Jet Pens in black, brown, lime green, and orange. And I understand for some people, maybe some of those other colors might be more appealing to you. But you know, if you're going to get more than one, maybe consider purchasing one from a smaller manufacturer. So let's take a little tour of the case and hopefully this gives you an opportunity to decide if this is a case that might be good for you for carrying your mechanical pencils around. Now, the first thing that I want to point out with this, which is part of the reason why I dove into it, is that I really like the compact styling on this. There are a lot of pen cases out there that are rather large, and I consider them more a hindrance or cumbersome rather than helpful, and I like that this particular pen case fits in a nice little compact. Um, you know what? We have measurements on my Alvin... Um, board here so let's go ahead and measure i'm going to move this over this is a looks like about eight inches long by about five inches in diameter it's about eight by five okay and so for me that's about as large as i want to go for a pen case in order to be able to carry my mechanical pencils around without it being a little too cumbersome. It's really easy to put this into my work bag and it, and it can sit right next to my lunch and it doesn't uh, bother me at all. And so, you know, I've gotten a lot of great use of this. Now on the front, you can see that there are two pockets. We have a larger pocket here in the front and a smaller pocket here in the front. This uh, lip of the uh, pocket is pretty grippy i guess i would say um it, it's uh looks like feels like it would hold something in there but it is possible that if you were to tip it this way uh something could fall out of the pocket you can see that there's two really high quality zip zippers for the zip enclosure here along the side and anybody who spends any amount of time with zippers knows that zipper manufacturing can be very ver variable and it's really easy to get uh, on a lower quality product a zipper that can break um, in using these zippers these seem like really high quality zippers and so for the cost this seems like a pretty high quality product in terms of its durability and maybe if you have some experience with the Lee Head Lab Tefa pen cases you might be able to comment down in the comments be below and give everybody your thoughts let's open it up the writing utensil portion of it is divided into two sections we have two canvas straps that can easily hold pen or pencils that have pocket clips get that in there yoink there we go and so i have a variety of pens and pencils that i'm carrying around with me that i might be using in any uh, uh given time and on the other side we have a canvas strap but then we have a uh, put sort of pocket enclosure over here. And so I tend to put my mechanical pencils that uh, uh, may be retractable 
over on this side so that it doesn't damage it. Although you can see that I still have some of these in here that, that uh, do not have retractable sleeves. And so plenty of space to put a lot of pens or pencils securely, um, but still kind of keeping them separate from each other. One thing that you're going to notice about a lot of pen cases is it's just a pocket with a zipper. And that means that you're throwing everything all into one location. Sharp metal bits on different parts are scratching bits of other pens or pencils. And so the reason why I prefer cases like this, the Liat Lab Tefa pen case, is that it allows for these straps to give you some separation between these mechanical pencils or whatever your writing utensil is, preventing them from scratching each other as much as if you just threw them all into one giant pouch, which tends to be a situation that I do not prefer. And then if you flip this tab over, we have a bunch of pockets. Okay, we have a big mesh pocket here over on the side, which you can see I put a variety of things. The beauty of this case is that it's large enough that you can put some additional supplies in here, such as I have a mini stapler. I'm also looking into getting a foldable scissors to put in here. Basically, any small school supplies that I would want to carry around with myself, but don't want to have loose in my bag. And then we have smaller mesh pockets over here on the side, which are perfect for holding extra erasers and for mechanical pencil lead. And so that's a quick little tour of the Lee Head Lab Tefa pen case. If you're interested in some everyday carry for your mechanical pencils or pens, people, uh, commenters on the channel have uh, re been requesting this case. And so I went ahead and dove right in and I've really enjoyed uh, trying this out as a product. And I definitely carry around pens and pencils in it to protect them. But also it's a compact case that is very easy for me to carry around. And so there's a lot more coming up on the channel, a variety of uh, pencils that I'm going to be reviewing, uh, including coming up, we have the Tico Fine Vario L Mechanical Pencil by Faber-Castell, which many people have requested. I have the Zebra New Spiral coming up on the channel, which is a pencil that was uh, gifted to me by Robogato, and so a variety of things to look out for. And so thanks for watching Clutch Situation. I hope you enjoyed this short little video about this EDC product, the Lee Head Lab Tefa Pen Case. Have a great day. Bye-bye.